Good morning, everybody. Hope you're all well. Um, we're heading off to Siren Sester today. Uh, it's Friday and uh, I'm up here at the storage yard this morning just to do a few little jobs like make sure that everything's OK, make sure it's loaded for towing, put the towing cover on, um, put some knickknacks into the caravan that we want to take away with us. Generally, do all the things that would ordinarily take a few moments of time when it was time for us to go. The reason we, I do this is that when I come up here and hitch up and head off, there is minimal time wasted for when we head off, which means that we can be on the road for one o'clock-ish. Um, now, unfortunately, this morning, Friday, we've just had a load of very bad weather wave through, and it's absolutely soaking outside. I can see some blue sky, though, which is quite nice. But it's cold and uh, the, one of the first tasks I want to do is put the towing cover on. And unfortunately, putting the towing cover on means that I'm going to get wet and also I've got to dry the windows off. Let's go and get it done anyway. Now, whilst I'm outside fitting the towing cover, let me talk to you about the sponsor of this week's video. And that is NordVPN. I've been a customer of NordVPN since September 2013. And back in the day, I needed NordVPN for a very specific reason, to secure my online data whilst using other people's networks. Because I travelled around quite a lot, I was using cafes, hotels, public Wi-Fi hotspots and also clients' network facilities. So I needed to protect all my information and secure my communication on my laptop whilst I was out and about. And I still use NordVPN for exactly that same reason today, especially when we're on holiday. Let me ask you a question. If you're using a public Wi-Fi hotspot on a campsite, how do you know who else is on that same network? You know, it's not that difficult to poach your information and download data from you whilst you're using a public Wi-Fi hotspot, like those found on a campsite. When you sign up and log into NordVPN using their app, your information is protected, your IP address is encrypted, and all your browsing history is secured online. Very useful if you're using public or even campsite free Wi-Fi. I mentioned that I use NordVPN back in the day for all its security benefits, but I also use NordVPN these days for another great benefit, and that is to be able to change my location whilst online. And the benefit of that is that I can watch TV shows and films that are not available here in the UK. And I know that when we do make it over to France, Mrs. T is going to be really happy to be able to get Coronation Street and EastEnders whilst we're away in the caravan. NordVPN is available as an app for your phone, your tablet and your desktop. It's also available as an extension for web browsers, but even better, it can be installed on some streaming devices. And as you would have seen, I've managed to install it here on my Wi-Fi router. Right now, NordVPN has a special offer using my link in the description and pinned comments down below. As part of the birthday celebrations, when you sign up for two years, you also get four months extra. So why not give them a go? Nord offer a 30 day money back guarantee if you're not completely happy and satisfied with the service that you receive. So let's head back to the video where apparently it stopped raining. What a difference an hour and 10 minutes make. The sun's out and I have my co-pilot with me. <laughs> oh, and the dog as well. Oh, yeah. But anyway, yeah. Um, right, uh, security is off here. I've got to do the wheel security now, lift the steadies, and then we'll reverse up and hitch up and head off. Right, last sanity check. Make sure that that is not catching. Breakaway cable's on correctly. Hitch head is down, handbrake off. Jockey well secure. Jockey well secure. Handle is tight. Good. Right, I think we're ready to go. We've arrived set up just in time for qualifying yes um, we didn't film much last night because we were um otherwise engaged we were busy with um entertaining um and having a lovely evening 
So, um, we didn't do much filming last night, and I apologise for that. You will meet our internet celebrity friends, internet friends, um, people that we are aware of, acquaintances. Not sure how to categorise folks that you meet off of the internet. Anyway, uh, I'm sure we'll bump into those later on today. Um, we've got some plans that we may fulfil, which is good, but it's all going to be very fluid and very casual. Um... We set up yesterday in really quick time, in fact, um, and it was great because we were able to set up, get everything sorted and get the uh, Sky F1 going and uh, watch the qualifying. Um, people are asking me how I did that, by the way. It's very simple. It's an Apple TV and I'm using the Sky Go app. Nothing more sinister than that. Um, so that was yesterday. Um, we went out for fish and chips last night, which was fantastic from our favourite fish and chip shop here in Sirencester. Uh, and it went down very well indeed. Oh yes, this morning thought we had a massive issue. Um, I could hear water pouring and trickling and dripping um, at the front corner here. And I was thinking, oh no, we've got a leak. Thinking it was coming down from the inside of the um, windows. So close inspection, I ripped up all the sofas, poured out everything from the corner to see what was going on. Bone dry. Couldn't work out where the sound was coming from. Anyway, I went outside and this is what I saw. So after 20 minutes of calming down, trying to get my blood pressure and heart rate back down again, and thinking, thank goodness for that. Um, oh, nothing quite like that to uh, to to wake you up. But I noticed that there was like pools of like ice or like um, or slush. So it must have been really cold last night, and it did rain a lot. It did rain a heck of a lot. So anyway, whilst I wait for Angela, I'm going to have a cup of coffee, and then I'm going to crack on and make some breakfast. Have you noticed how I'm filming you? But I've got the keys. Yeah, that was a bit stupid, wasn't it? No, that's right. But I've also got a dog in my hand as well. Because yeah. he's pulling me like crazy because he's super excited to get to the park. Aren't you? Yeah. Hey? Hey? Where are we going? Oh, God. He does love the park, doesn't he? Yeah. You know, some people say, don't meet your heroes. <laughs> we didn't, but we did bump into a couple of YouTubers. <laughs> and I think it's going okay, maybe. But uh, yes, we're with Mac and Sarah. Hello. <laughs> Chop seems to be very caring of those all of a sudden, like yeah. making sure he's okay. He's gone back for him, which is very yeah. sweet. Isn't yes. it? Yeah. But now he's just <laughs> run off. He's found something else. Something more interesting. <laughs> Look at those. <laughs> So, from 2024, and I think in a few weeks' time, the park is going to start charging uh, admission to walk through the park. For adults, it's £4 each. For children, I don't know how much it is. But that's not important, because if you stay at the Siren Sister Park Caravan and Motorhome Club site, when you check in, not only will you get your barrier key to get in and out of the site, but you'll also get a key fob so that you can actually walk through the park for free. So you don't have to pay the daily charge of whatever it is they're charging. So, Bear that in mind, if you are visiting Bathurst Estate, and you'll probably see lots of people talking about the uh, park now charging as from March 2024. Um, so in the next few weeks, that'll be taking shape and be put in place. And then if you do want to visit on the day, you have to buy your ticket from the hut over there. So there we go. Top tip. So unfortunately, Sarah and Angela have now been in there, what? 10 minutes? About 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And I can see a calculator. I can see blue gloves. And I think there's a lot of bulk buying taking place. Oh God. We're, um, we're heading back because we've been through, I don't know, many cafes, pubs, trying to find somewhere to sit down and have a, sorry, sorry, uh, a cup of tea or a, something. So we decided we're going to head back, get ourselves dried off, clean the dogs down, and then we're going to head off to the microbrewery, which is just outside of the park. And we're going to do that this afternoon. There's a tap room, there's drinkies, little sippers, 
at a shop to buy it. So that's what we're going to do. So we're heading back. Dozer is having the life of luxury. Yeah. <laughs> so he's being brought back. Bless him. So yes, he's a bit knackered. I mean, he is an old boy, but he's done really well with chops today. So, yes. We are back now. We've got back. It was a bit wet, wasn't it? A little bit. It was a bit wet. Um, so we're back now in the caravan. We're just going to have ourselves a quick cup of tea and a donut that uh, Angela bought from Need, which I had a queue and I had a croque majeure, which was just fantastic. Mm. So we picked up a few bits from there. Chops is absolutely dead. Let me show you. So Chops is literally absolutely cream crackered doesn't even want to get up to say hello bless him look at the state of that that is a lot of jam the jam to donut ratio is high in this one <laughs> what have you got you've got a biscoffy one i think it's biscoffy and you've got a lot of my jam on it as well oh, okay <laughs> good stuff that's him all settled in now we're going to go and sample some beer <laughs> right, let's head back and start eating and cooking and drinking. There we go then. Chicken fajitas are served. Let's eat. Well, good morning, everybody. Bit of a sore throat this morning. Yesterday was a fun day, fun day. Let me talk you through exactly what took place. Um, we decided to go to the um, the local microbrewery, Corinium Ales. Yeah. Corinium Ales, um, which is in the kennels just over across from the site. Very easy to get to. There's a nice new path which is go straight there. There's a few other bits there, like a restaurant and blah 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 so it's all very good um but we went to the corinium ales now when we went in there into the tap room it was packed i mean there was literally standing room only um and we walked through to get a couple of beers and then we were going to sort up where we were going to sit and as we walked in um the woman at the bar basically said uh, oh are you here for the sip and sing and we said no don't, not sure what that is and she said oh okay well um well enjoy it and gave us a song sheet and then proceeded to get four barrels out put cushions on them and arrange them at the wall at the back of the room uh, for our seating which were actually surprisingly comfortable um, and the idea was that we would have a drink and a sing song not something I would do as I said to the woman at, after the event if I'd known this was on we wouldn't have come because this is not what we do at all but thoroughly enjoyed myself really glad we did it and it was great fun we sang um oh i, I can't remember it. yellow submarine was one of them yeah um there's quite a few different ones that we sang old classics you know like sing song sings and it was a brilliant atmosphere it was extremely good fun and unfortunately what the byproduct of that was we were drinking quite a lot and so by 5 30 yesterday I, I, i'll go out on a limb and say it here we were all pretty sozzled right yeah we were all pretty sozzled by 5 30 starving hungry because really we hadn't eaten much during the day i mean i had a a toasty but that was about it and we staggered back to the caravan and i very quickly cooked dinner which was chicken fajitas which you probably have already seen um and then and then Mac and Sarah came over last night. We sat around, laughed, joked, and what have you. We didn't drink a stitch of alcohol. And the, ended the night with a cup of tea and a slice of cake. <laughs> because we are all of that age now. So, anyway, uh, that was yesterday. And what a fun time it was. What a really good day it was out yesterday. 
the dogs got on so well, Chops was knackered, he just collapsed and he was absolutely shattered. I just got to put the mirrors on the car. The caravan is sorted. Obviously, put the dog in the car. Don't forget that. And uh, we're ready to go. But before we go, we're going to go say goodbye to our, our new friends. Mm. Right, well, we're saying goodbye to Mac and Sarah, who are fashionably late. Yes, we always <laughs> leave it right up to the last minute when it comes to checkout time every single time. Well, you've got 23 minutes. We can do it. I you can, can do it, right? Yeah, yeah. Dozer is his usual relaxed. self. Yeah, he's relaxed about the check. Bless him. Yeah, he's very relaxed. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, he and have to do any packing up. That's how do you feel about getting out of here in twenty something minutes? Um, it's going to be to the wire. Yeah. Yeah. Thank goodness there's an hour between vans leaving and vans arriving. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be heaving in here today, so I think you're going to be all right. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. And anyway. It's shining, so what a perfect day to absolutely travel. Look, thank you so much for a lovely weekend. Thank you. It's been absolutely wonderful. We've enjoyed every minute. It's been lovely, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, can I ask? Did you wake up with a sore throat this morning from singing? No. I no. I was just getting warmed up. I think. Yeah. I could have sung. What a fun! And if you haven't already, why not head on over to the Mac and Sarah YouTube channel, subscribe, because they'll be given a far more conducive feedback about you know <laughs> siren sester than i have because i've really not recorded an awful lot so yeah go in and subscribe to them and have a look to see what we really got up to <laughs> i will say this i did watch some of the clips back this morning from us singing and oh yeah i am woefully out of time oh, and my out God. of tune i'm sure we all are yeah yeah it's the fun of it it's, it's not great <laughs> There he is, back in storage, ready and waiting for the next time. I'll tell you what though, before I take him out again, I think I've got to give him a really good clean because he is filthy. <laughs> yeah. Something that does need a good clean is this carpet. It's not so much dirty, it's just got a lot of hair in it and the bathroom's also got a lot of hair in it as well uh, from the dog. But one thing has happened, I'm just gonna take my shoes off is because we were on a fairly new gravel pitch, all the gravel's got like that sand over it. So we've brought a lot of sand into the caravan. I think you can see it on there. Most definitely you can see it on the step. Ugh. So yes, I think we need to do a fair amount of cleaning. Anyway, Angela has stripped the bed. That's all coming home with us. Um, I'm gonna leave the dog bed up here for the moment because there's not a lot of space in the car. But there's a few other things as well which we need to take home because in a few, three weeks time we're heading off again and the next one we're going to is the Brecon Beacons so we're really excited about that so anyway I hope you enjoyed this apologies I didn't film everything but like I said Mac and Sarah will be uh, sharing a far more a far better uh, review of Siren Tester than I have in this video but it just gives you an insight into us going away and I hope I didn't make it too samey from the last video because my fear is if I keep doing this there'll be the same things I'll be filming every time um, and uh, and to be honest with you we never really film on our last day so maybe maybe we can do a bit more about shutting up shop and going home so many thanks for watching everybody please take care and uh, if you wouldn't mind hit the subscribe button hit the notification icon and if you can do all that We'll see you in the next video. Thanks, everybody. We're off home now to have a nice cup of tea and do the first round of washing. See you soon. Bye now.